So now I'm going to show you once we get that angle, what we do next. Okay, it's very very simple. All right, most of you guys probably know what it is already, but I'm going to show you because it's fun for me. I open them up. I come inside, slide, step. Okay, and up here, my arms are pretty loose, like uh, they're connected, but I'm not tensing them at all. I'm doing my best not to. I step around, create my angle, and right here, all I do is this. All I do is this. So let me squeeze it. Okay, you're just going to bicep, right? That's all it is. But we don't do it until the very, very end. Okay, I want to take it 99% of the way there, and then finish it with bang. The reason is because if I'm squeezing the entire time, but I'm not at the perfect angle, I'm squeezing for quite a bit of time. This technique started five, seven, ten seconds ago. If you're squeezing your bicep straight for five, seven, ten seconds, you'll be exhausted. All right? Because he's going to be fighting you that whole time. He's not in a position. He, he was earlier in a position to fight us. Right? If I started squeezing now, he's in a position to fight this, tucking his chin, doing all those things. And then I have to get around, get around, get around. But if I finesse him to here, he has no position to fight. And I finish. But I don't squeeze until I have that angle. Understand? Okay? Your squeeze should only last half a second, second at the most. If that's if your partner's being a little bit stubborn. But that's fine. That's fine. Understand? So guys, create your angle and then give your give your partner a little bit of bicep. Show them as well. Understand? This first. Okay, this small detail is pretty important. When your hand is like this, touch your forearm. Pick your fist now. You feel the difference? If I grab here, then I make a fist, I can't close my fist. Make fist first, then come over top, close your elbow. And if you punch that off, you're de engaging your forearms. Right? Make sense? If, you're, if you need to slow it down, do that. It's totally fine. I do this technique super slow all the time just to make sure that I'm nice and smooth when I'm doing it in a match. Okay, so slow it down, nice and easy, this, connect, close your elbow. I'll show you guys a, a very similar finish, but in a, a different way. Okay? When they're not defending in that way, when they're not trying to peep out, when they're not rolling 120 times, we get here, I slide, I step up, and then Ed is going to posture strong. So I'm going to stand, okay? And notice how I step past that, boom, okay? Or it's not necessarily past him because he's so tall, but I'm going to step near him here, and I'm going to keep my ear as close as I can, and I'm going to take my left leg, and I'm going to throw my hook in. Now, I make my touch. Okay? I'm still squeezing, guys, again. But I'm taking that, creating the angle to the next level. Okay? Open them up, pull the chip, boom, here I am, punching my shoulders, slide, slide, slide. How am I finished? Okay? Typically what's going to happen, so let's pretend like I have my grip strong, he's going to fall, and I finish him. Okay, it's the same thing. Don't worry about exactly where you are uh, in relation to the map. Think of it like you're in space. It doesn't matter. You're upside down, right side up, or anything like that. As long as you're positioning on his body in that way, you can finish it. Left, right, upside down, inverted, doesn't matter. Okay? So, I'm here, slide, step. He starts to posture. One, two, hooks, and I make my finish. Check you're really creating an angle here, guys, so I don't want you guys to whip back because this can be pretty stressful and your partner's fine. Okay, but do your best to get all the way around. You guys all look really physically fit, so you guys should all be able to do this. Throw that hook in. And if your partner, for whatever reason, you can't reach that hook all the way, raise your hand, call me, I will make the proper adjustments. Everybody should be able to reach the hook. Understand? One, two, three.